Hey, welcome back to the channel, and I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to be talking about some wide receiver play. Uh, George Pickens from Georgia, a guy that really intrigues me, uh, had some injuries recently, so we're going to take a look at some um, some film from the year before. You know, I, I really hate doing year before film, but because of his injuries, he didn't play. He was still healing, and he chose to go out there and fight, so I don't want to hold the tape from him fighting through injuries and like make the analysis that way. I just wanted to, when he was healthy, and this is his bowl game versus Cincinnati uh, 2022, I'm not sure if number seven is Kobe Bryant or Sauce Gordon. I'm not really sure, but put it in the comment section. Who was number seven for Cincinnati last year? Not this year to just pass, last year, because that's the guy that did most of the um, defending versus Pickens. Roll the intro. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's get started. So I got my timestamps, and just let me get to them. Uh, Pickens is, if I'm not mistaken, six three. Uh, before we get started, let me tell you this story first. Once I get to where I want to be, Pickens is, um, I think, right at six three, right at two hundred pounds, maybe a little bit over. I got to go back and check my numbers. Uh, so you know, don't don't call me a blatant liar because I'm not meaning to lie about those numbers. But story time. I went to Friday Night Lights at Florida State University. So it would have been Pickens going into his senior year. So he was a junior going into his senior year. And it's basically their big junior day with all their top prospects, guys they want to get. Uh, Sam Howell was there also. Uh, Pickens was there and a bunch of other top prospects. So when I tell you Pickens was by far the best player on the field that day, he dominated every cornerback that even thought of they wanted to get up there. I don't care if the throw was bad, if it was too far. He went and got every ball. Nobody could touch him on the jam. And then when you did, you know, get a fingernail on him, he was so aggressive that he got you off without even impeding his route. So a healthy George Pickens is, is, a, is a dude. And that's why, you know, I decided to come to you today with this film on George Pickens. And you see him highlighted there at the bottom. Uh, let's watch the first play and come back and talk about it. So smooth in his transitions. And yeah, he went and got that. And I'm going to let you see the catch, even though you can barely see it there. But watch the transitions where he tried to turn this guy around. Because what, what's going to happen is they're trying to get the safety over top. Let me put this down. Trying to get the safety over top. So they blitzing this cat. Trying to get him to come over and guard Pickens. So watch the transition. All right, now he's going to work him this way to try to turn him around and then get back out. And watch how smooth he does it. Got his back turned to him. Turned him all the way around. Now he just run past him. And if he don't stumble, he really runs past him. He lays out and get it. The only reason he had to lay out because of that stumble right there when he when he swift, switched him up. Right there, this little stumble right there. If he don't stumble right there, that's six points. But watch the fluidity in which he changed direction without even slowing down. That lets me know he can, he can get in and out of breaks too. He's going to push him, turn him around, got him in the blind spot. Now he's gone. And watch the effort. You can't see it on this view, but I'm going to show the, the back side up. Watch the effort. And again, it's old now. It's JT Daniels, that quarterback. If I'm not mistaken, I think they lost this game, I think. Watch the effort. Tracking the ball. And laying out for it. That's a healthy George Pickens right there. Let's go to the second play. Alright, he's the top of the trips right here. And one thing I know, y'all know I love about receivers, blocking. This cat don't mind blocking. He even got a penalty right here. He do not mind blocking. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Run a little bubble. You can't get beat at the point. Then move his feet. Then move his feet and drive. Move his feet and drive. Then we try to get off finishing. 
put him on the ground. Now, let me find somebody else to go get, even though he hit him in late. But the fact that he's still looking for people to block, I love it. No block, no rock. You can't block, I can't throw you the ball. I can't call plays to get you the ball. That's that's my philosophy. If you can't block, look at that. Look how he finished. I ain't even see it from this view. Look how he finished that dude. Right here. Look how he finished this cat. Effort. Effort and want to. And he, he don't mind blocking. Get on the ground. Let me hit you too. I love it. Linebacker playing receiver. Uh, Six minutes. All right. He's in the slot right here. Now you kind of get into his route running and understand the zone and whatnot. That's what you're going to see right here. Understand the zone, hit the open spot, finish the play. Now all this space, I'm just going to work in this open area. Working this area. Didn't run close enough where this dude can get hands on him. Got plenty of room to work in the open area. Pretty good throw, too. When he coming off, when coming off, he should be looking at this guy to see if he's gonna try to wall him off. Let's see if that happens. Now he's just pushing the safety. He's passing him easy because he pushed vertical. Again, sticking that foot in the ground, not really slowing down. Change the direction without really slowing down. Now I don't think he ran the full speed either, but still, look at the space he in. That's a lot of space to work with right there. That's a nice little piece of real estate to work with. Quarterback delivers the ball. A little bit high. But you know, he a big body. He don't mind going up getting it. He may not even have, may not have even had the jump for this. A little bit. Be all right. But you need a guy like that to be able to go up and get stuff like that. Especially in the red zone. Especially in the red zone. Uh, let's see, let's see. Piggins right here. Avoiding what I like, avoiding it, and just sitting right down. Sitting in an open spot. Understand his zones. Avoiding the contact. For this guy trying to wall him out. And then sit right in that space. Sit, that's perfect. Sit right in that space. If the ball, if the ball was coming to him, he had, you know, all we had to do is just keep working back to it. Just keep working back to it. You don't have to run full speed to run good routes. You just got to run uncontrolled. And he runs controlled routes. Avoid. Settle. Simple. And, and had the read been over here, he could have caught this ball easily for 15 yards. Or they would have got that over top. Because the, the deep man bit on Pickens. But that ain't got nothing to do with it. His ability. So he can run the curl. He can run the dig. Also, obviously, he can break, you know, without really slowing down because he runs control routes. I want to see him be full speed and break that stuff down. And I think we got one of those later on in this uh, in this in this session. Twelve oh four. So the very next play, we can run it from right here. Hit the top of your screen up here. Again, run the control route. Don't really have to slow down when you make that cut. Got inside, because you know you're breaking inside. But you really know he got a lot of, of room to work with because this guy stepped up. I don't know why. He breaks it right behind him. And helps his quarterback out. Quarterback get hit, gets hit. He makes sure he gets down and get the ball. The thing is, though, this what I'm impressed with the way he come out and breaks without slowing down. And it ain't no pop, 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 go. It's he just one step and gone. Now can he run can he do slants and stuff like that too? Cause this ring gonna make my phone gonna make all kind of noise on this video. If the quarterback don't get hit, this probably six too. But he has a quarterback out, and good receivers do that. 
quarterback make a bad throw or under throw, you you go help him out. You gotta go help him out sometime. Sixteen twenty five. Now, this is just about effort on this one. This play is not to him. You just get an extra play right here. I'm scoring a touchdown. All right, this play is not to him. This is picking it up here all the way up at the top. But watch his effort. Remember I talked about blocking earlier? Watch his effort. Watch his effort. I love the effort. Come off. Got my guy. Green, take you out, take you out, and unintentionally take out another guy. Cause he don't mind. It's, to me, that's a great teammate blocking for somebody else. That's a great teammate. Now, whether he turns into a diva or whatever, but right now, a guy that loves to block, don't mind blocking. I ain't gonna say loves, but don't mind blocking. I I can rock with him every day. Avoiding. I love I love the fact that he just subtle subtly avoids the defenders. He makes he adjusts his route, subtly avoids them. Now he knows. He knows. He has this outbreaking route. They run the lift flood concept. Because he's gonna get over top of it. So he just gotta, you know, play off of this dude. You know, if he widens, if he widens, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna settle. If he kind of stays right here and or takes this little flat route that's gonna come, then I can keep going out here. Understand the route. His head snapped around to this dude first to see where he was at. Now I was going back to the quarterback. Let me try to get some yak. Stay on the ground, though. Give him a little eh, eh. You don't need to try to jump over here, buddy. Awareness. Now let me see if I can give me some yak. Put the ball away. Put the ball away. Put the ball away. The thing about Pickens is, <laughs> he a dog and he know. It. That's the thing about Pickens. So you're going to get some some, some crazy things about him. Because he's a dog and he knows it already. Let me go back. I skipped one. I think I skipped one. All right, let's see what I skipped. It's just the same play. Oh, yeah, same one. All right, so last play. Last play I got for you. Again, he's a dog and he knows it already. That's him at the bottom. That's what I was waiting to see. A route like this when you one-on-one. -on -one. You got a one-on-one -on -one matchup with number nine, whoever that is. Watch how he explode, gets outside. Because this guy's outside leverage. He's going to win and get outside. Push him up the field, break it down. So he really didn't press him, he just was up on him. And he gave him the outside. He just bailing. Pickens can run now. He's still looking at the quarterback. Still looking at the quarterback. Never looks at Pickens. Sat down. But my, my thing is, even though the guy never looks at him, the thing is, look at the transition and Pickens' feet when he tries to break down. One. Two three. Look look how look how much lower he is at six three. See if I can bag it up with one frame. Oh, that's more than one frame. That's not a lot. A lot of people have to take three, four, five steps to slow down. He broke it down in three. One, two, three. And a one let pivot step to open up. Ball on time. Hand catch. All hands. Step out of bounds. And let's see if we can see the catch from this view. Hands not an issue. Heart not an issue. Um, ability to run routes not an issue. Dog mentality not an issue. All hands. Dog mentality not an issue. Uh, you don't see it on this one, but the ability to go up and get balls not an issue. The only issue is, is discipline. 
The only issue is discipline. Hold on. Where am I at? There we go. Only is, is issue is discipline and health. If he didn't get hurt, if he wasn't playing through injury this year, there's no question in my mind that he'd be wide receiver number one over Jameson Williams and uh, Burks from Arkansas. If if he was healthy, there's no doubt in my mind that he'd be wide receiver number one. So um, a healthy George Pickens, especially the second year after his injury, I think it's going to be a dog. He's going to be a tough, tough handle for a bunch of cornerbacks, uh, even as a rookie, you know, because he's not going to take smack from anybody. He's going to get after you, you know, in the run game by blocking you. Uh, he's a red zone threat, and he's a deep ball threat. And he can, you know, run your little hitches and curls and, and you know, be a possession guy too. He, To me, he's a total package. All he's lacking is health. George Pickens is a total package to me. Uh, if you happen to get him on your team, consider yourself very lucky. And the only issue I would have is discipline, like how well he's going to handle being a making a lot of money and how healthy he is. But, I, you know, every team got doctors and they can kind of examine that. So the only real issue is probably going to be can he handle being an NFL player? Because, you know, with the fight with Georgia Tech, when he was, I think he was a freshman when that happened, when he threw the guy into the, um, into the sign versus Georgia Tech. And then what he did to the Michigan DB, the, the sideline was talking crap, and he just basically pancaked the kid out there and like look at the coach like this the dude you want guard me so I, that dog mentality from him I love but um the only issue you gotta worry about is him maybe getting penalties and whatnot and I think he's a total package man you could have been anywhere in the world y'all listen to me around for another five minutes <laughs> but I appreciate it you could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with me uh enjoy the rest of your Sunday um see you guys soon man peace with the